hey guys, oh my god, the October ban list is here and it's so Oh wait, this is OCG. Never mind. Anyway, I'm gonna be going over the OCG ban list, giving my personal opinions of it, and maybe we can maybe get like maybe a hand or maybe set precedence for maybe our TCG ban list, which is of course the important one, because we don't even get a, give a shit about OCG, but you know, it's just nice to go ahead and look at and see what's going on over there in uh crazy OCG land. So, uh starting it off, there are no cards banned. No cards banned. Yep, they ban nothing. Okay. So, first card hit and limited. Construct. Okay, I mean, I, I, they hit Shadals pretty hard here. Pretty hard. So, hitting Construct is an interesting move. Interesting move. I really, I mean, maybe it's different in the OCG land, but here in the TCG, Construct's not really the one that you should be afraid of. Construct's not the one that, you know, is just locking you down. You know, your opponent summons a Construct and, you know, destroys one of your special monsters you know if you have the resources you can just go ahead and make a you know a castell or a one on one and snatch his butt up next turn it's not no, he's not the scary one the scary one is you know midrash or winda being able to uh you know you only get one special turn so i i'm, I'm surprised that construct gets hit out of all the cards i you know but okay construct to one next card limited to one hold up hold up hold up i know winda midrash too damn OCG said, fuck Shadals, fuck them. Like, wow, okay, so that too? You know, I don't think there's going to be any set presidents. I doubt Shadals are going to get hit here in the TCG. Maybe maybe indirectly, you know, maybe they'll be like, okay, maybe I'm a mathematician, I don't know, maybe I'm going to get a nerd or something, but I doubt it'll be something as serious as actually taking the cards of the archetype and ripping them from you. Like, one, one construct in one window? Just take your fucking Shadal deck and throw it in the trash, OCD. Like, damn. Like, you get rid of, you get, you get, you <laughs> you get with them and you're done. Well, I guess they have other cards. You know, they have, uh, they have, what, a Gristol and, and Shikiniga and then, I guess, and, you know, they're getting the water and the wind one, but, you know, that, that hurts. That hurts. So, you know, can we predict that a Gristol and Shikiniga are going to go down to one as well? Are all the Shadal fusions going to get hit down to one? That is a pretty good question, but... Wow, okay, OCG. Next card limited to one, Summoner Monk. Okay, so they have two Summoner Monk, we have two Summoner Monk. But I can definitely see it. That's, uh, that's, it's a nice little indirect hit to, to, to Satellus to uh, go ahead and bring down Monk. Monk is still a pretty powerful card. Being able to, you know, just discard spell summon a level four. The monster still gets its effect. Um, and, you know, it's a nice one for one. Uh, you know, with the prevalence of, you know, like, effect veiler and, you know, and, and effect negations going down. You know, Summoner Monk has kind of been going up, so, uh, you know, Summoner Monk to one. It would hurt, it would make me kind of sad, because I really like Summoner Monk on my, uh, my Yvel deck, but, you know, if TCG Konami wants to go ahead and go set precedence and go ahead and hit Summoner Monk to, uh, try to indirectly hit a little bit of Satellas in one mind, but Satellas don't really run it, you know. Summoner Monk hasn't really been much in here in the TCG, but it must have done something in to get limited, because it's been at two for a cool minute. And I think it actually went from one to two, and then now it's back down to one. Alright, next card limited. Dad. Oh, fucking, oh, Dad. Told them fucking idiots, I swear. Fucking idiots. Their last, if you guys didn't know, the last OG Dan let's put Dark Arm to two, and that was stupid. Dark Arm should always be at one. Dark Arm is so powerful. Dark Arm at one. So they went one, two, one. So they learned their lesson there. <laughs> yeah, Dark Arm, too powerful. Stay at one. Uh, uh, Star Seraph Sovereign. Uh, we don't have this card here in the TCG, thank God, because that would just go so well with Satellas. Anyway, uh, this card's actually pretty good. So it's used as a three and if it's uh, uh, Star Seraph Monster would be normal special summon. Uh, you can uh, pretty much special summon it and then draw a card. So, you know, I definitely duel on YGO Pro app. And if you duel on your YGO Pro app, then you know that the Satellanite deck on there does have the Star Seraph. One of the plays that it loves to do is just go summon uh, Scepter, reveal Sovereign, summon Sovereign, uh, search, then draw, and then reveal the Sovereign that they just searched off of the, the Scepter, and then special summon another Sovereign, draw again, XC. So, definitely just nets you a lot of pluses, and uh, probably uh, probably one of the best uh, XC decks that you can uh, do. Did I say Synchro Summon? Next C. I don't know. What's wrong with me? Uh, so, yeah. So, the chair is down. Yeah. But you take, a, take two of your chairs and put them in the trash can, because chair is down to one. Next card limit to one. They decided to limit Soul Charge. Okay. So, this could kind of be maybe set precedence for us. So, 
if you guys don't know, TCG is much of a more much more of a strickler when it comes to sin. You know, OCG is more free flowing. They're like, okay, we're a little bit more lenient with it. So, so if the more lenient people are going to be putting Sword Tribes down to one, I mean, what do you think us freaking Mick Meany Mick Strickler TCG is gonna do? I wouldn't be surprised if Soul Charge gets banned. But you know, they have Soul Charge at one, which means they also have Soul Charge and Monster Reborn at one. So you know, you see how free flowing they are in OCG here? No, 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 none of that. So like I said, it's just kind of maybe set precedence that maybe Soul Charge will be banned on our ban list. So Soul Charge the one still. Still broke, so it's still such a Saki card. So you're gonna top deck it in sack. Good thing that's an OCG land. Please, here, TCG, Soul Charge Ban, please. Anyway, next card hit down to one. Sinister Shadow Games. That card's thirty-two dollars. Wow. Okay. Wow. I, I don't. Card is most expensive is the freaking Vanny. I did not know that. I'm getting off topic, but damn. Anyway, Sinister Shadow Games also hit. So. Uh, this card's actually really good. You know, being able to just send a Shadal and then flip them all up and then you get all their effects. So, uh, just, just definitely a really, really good play. So, I'm you know, not surprised this card would uh, go down to one. And I heard a lot of people on their balance predictions saying that uh, Sinister Shadow game should get hit. So, they got hit in the OCG. So, you know, I doubt Shadals are going to get hit in this list for uh, the CCG, but maybe we can go ahead and uh, have some set precedents here, you know? Maybe we're like, yeah, you know what, maybe that OCG's move with the Sinister Shadow Games is a pretty good idea. But most of the time, uh, we generally don't follow them, you know, generally we do, do our own thing in Detour, so, you know, maybe they'll hit something indirectly, or maybe, I don't know, maybe something different, but I think this is just extreme as hell, so, interesting, interesting. Alright, so those are all our limited cards. Uh, going to two cards that are similar limited uh, they put Gale. Yeah, they finally put Gale. Everybody and their mother's been crying. Give me another Gale! Gale to two! Gale to two! Well, OCG got it, so if you want to go ahead and play with two Gales, then hop on a plane and head over to Japan land, because here, I'm, I don't know. I don't know. I, like I said, we're the funny daddy mean TCG, so, you know, for all, for all we know, Konami generally likes to have that if it ain't broke, don't fix it mentality, unless it hasn't been, uh, if it's not breaking for a long, 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 long time. <laughs> so, uh, you know, if Konami wants to go ahead and put Guild 2, I really wouldn't, for the TCG, I wouldn't care, because Black Wings still suck. Like, Guild 2 isn't going to help Black Wings. They have consistency issues, so, huh. But I don't know. Maybe people want to play Blackwing in the OCG now. Oh snap! Ooh. All right, whatever. And that is all that went up to two. So one going up to three. And this is this right here. These cards that are going up to three are the reason why Konami OCG is fucking retarded when it comes to doing shit like this, and why they should probably learn from us when it comes to ban lists. So let's go over it. So to three, wind up shark. Alright, so, yeah, Wind Up Shark, you're probably saying, well, what, what, what's wrong with that? Wind Up Shark is at 3 in OCG. Magician is at 3, and Carrier is at 1. So, literally, after all this time, you have literally reverted back to freaking Wind Ups being how they were, uh, I don't remember which format, right after freaking, uh, the, after the Hunter Loop, where they lost their Hunter Loop because they, you know, Carrier went down to 1. But the deck was still topping and doing really well. Like 70% of the meta was windups. Yeah, that version of that deck is back in the OCG. Like, why? Why? You're not earning any money off of windups. Windups aren't doing shit. Why the hell do you need to move anything, anything in windups? So you literally just gave them their entire deck back. That's ridiculous, OCG. Like, you're like, oh, well, you know, the windups. I haven't done anything, so let's give them my card back. And then, fucking what? In January, we're going to see windups get hit again? Like, stop it. Stop. Just leave it alone. You don't need to push windups. You don't need to move windups. You don't need to touch that fucking deck. But hey, whatever. Move freaking shark back up. It's fucking stupid. Next card. That's stupid. They put back Bisphere to three. So they hit it on a two because Mermos were too strong. Then Mermos didn't do anything this particular format. Therefore, they should get their Bisphere back. That doesn't make any sense. You hit it for a reason. You hit the deck so it doesn't top anymore. So why would you give them their cards back so they can do well again? That doesn't make any fucking sense. Like, it's, it's literally reverting back. It's just like, hmm. You know what hasn't done anything in a while? Chaos Emperor. Let's unban him. And then you're like, oh shit. 
We made a mistake. We should go ahead and hit it again. You know? Hmm. It's not doing anything. Let's put it up to two. Oh shit! It's stupid. It's broken. Back down to one. We messed up. Like, you don't learn your lesson, OCG. You're freaking stupid. Stupid OCG. Stupid. Anybody in OCG land, you you tired of the bullshit? Go ahead and come over here to TCG land because this is just stupid. And then the last card of stupid is Needlebug Nest. So of course they hit Needlebug Nest, you know, because the milling power, just being able to send cards, you know. And they're just like, you know what? We're gonna hit Needlebug Nest, and pretty good move, you know. Needlebug Nest is a fairly strong card, you know, in, in the right hands. And um, I didn't think it was a terrible move putting Needlebug Nest down to one. But then uh, let me guess. Decks that didn't use Needle Bug Nest didn't top this format, therefore they should get three Needle Bugs Nests again, which contradicts what you just previously hit in the last fucking list. Oh, fucking OCG, I swear to God. I mean, I don't care personally because I'm here in wonderful TCG land, but this is just stupid. Just stupid. Yep. So, yeah. This is the October OCG ban list, so. Shadals are dead, maybe. Shadals hurt real bad, and Konami just giving shit back because why not? <laughs> Alright, so tell me what you guys think about this OCG list. Do you, you think that will take any set precedence off this list for the TCG ban list? You know, go ahead and tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. So thanks for listening to me and my little rant here, and hopefully I will see you guys soon at the October TCG ban list. Thanks for watching.